Food processing is a secondary industry in which foods produced by nature or agriculture are transformed by one or more processes into finished products. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at the food processing industry. Among the benefits of the food processing industry is that it provides a market for raw materials produced in the agricultural and fishing industries. By providing a, raw mat uh, a market for raw materials, the food processing industry reduces the food imported from abroad and thus helps the country to save foreign exchange. Not only does the food processing industry help us to save foreign exchange, it also helps us to earn even more foreign exchange when food items are exported abroad. The foreign exchange helps us to purchase goods and services from abroad and also helps to improve our exchange rates. Another benefit of the food processing industry is that it adds value to raw materials produced by agriculture and fishing. Adding value to products is very important as it provides consumers with incentives to make purchases, thus increasing the company's revenue. One of the reasons processed foods have more value is that they have a longer shelf life. Without being processed, food will not last long. So processing the food is like pumping life into the food. During times of disasters, when electricity has been disrupted for days or weeks, processed food becomes very important. Without refrigeration powered by electricity, the food will go bad easily. As such, during times of disasters, many people will stock up on canned foods as well as other processed foods, which can provide a balanced meal for a long period of time. A successful food processing industry involves the expertise of a wide variety of professionals, such as researchers who help to discover people's food needs and preferences, chefs who are able to put different ingredients together in a creative way, food chemists who can check on the safety of combining different ingredients, sale representatives who help in the promotion of the food items and so on. Thus, a number of persons gain employment in the industry, which also helps in stabilizing the economy. Food processing industry contributes to the gross domestic product or GDP of a country. GDP is the 
market value of all finished goods and services produced within a country in a year. The GDP is one of the most important indicator of economic growth. Since food processing increases economic growth, it also contributes to an improvement in the standard of living. As a standard of living improves, citizens are better able to enjoy a better way of life. A very important benefit of the food processing industry is that it contributes to food security. Food security is a situation in which all people at all times have access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets their food preference and dietary needs for an active and healthy life. Food security has four components. These are availability, accessibility, utilization, and stability. And the food processing industry is important for all four components. The food processing industry contributes significantly to availability of food through mass production. It also gives greater access since mass production helps to reduce unit cost so that the food item can be sold to the consumers at a more affordable price. Affordability is synonymous to accessibility when we talk about food security. The component of utilization refers to the consumer being able to consume the food without being adversely affected and in the process receiving nutritional benefits. Processed foods come with instructions, safety tips, warnings, and expiry dates. The manufacturers also have better control of the ingredients in the food item. Stability refers to the food being constantly available and accessible. Since processing the food helps to extend the shelf life of the food, it also helps with the stability. Now, unfortunately, the food processing industry also comes with its own share of problems, which slow down the growth of the industry. For example, there is a problem of competition from foreign goods, which are often produced at very low cost and which are not only attractively packaged, but also have attractive prices. So when consumers go to the supermarket, for example, and they compare prices, the foreign foods often emerge as the winner. To combat the problem of a foreign competition, Caribbean governments have tried to appeal to citizens' conscience through public campaigns. For example, in Jamaica, citizens have been encouraged to grow what they eat and eat what they grow. Food processing can also contribute to environmental degradation in a number of ways. For example, it contributes 
to global warming as greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide may be emitted during the processing of the food as well as in the transportation of food from one place to another. Organic as well as inorganic wastes can also be generated during the processing stage. Organic wastes include rinds, seeds, and skins from plants, as well as the bones from animals, while inorganic wastes include packaging items such as plastics and metals. To address this problem, some Caribbean governments have prohibited or reduced the use of some packaging items which are not biodegradable. They also encourage citizens to recycle and reduce packaging materials such as plastics. Cleaner sources of energy can also be used to reduce the amount of environmental impact. As processing plants increase in size, it becomes more difficult for local farmers to supply enough raw materials. The agricultural sector in most Caribbean countries have either declined or stagnated in recent years, largely due to the contraction of traditional export markets. The decline in agriculture includes the decline in agricultural lands. Many estates which had the best agricultural lands have been converted to housing developments in a number of Caribbean territories. Natural hazards also destroy crops, example, during hurricane seasons. For agriculture to keep up with the demands for raw materials, it is important that we invest in the sector. More land needs to be available made available for agriculture. In some countries, lands are being leased to farmers for them to grow crops. In Jamaica, the Agro Investment Corporation, AIC, is a key agency in the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, tasked with the responsibility for agricultural investment, promotion, and facilitation. Though many places in the Caribbean are linked by good road network, there are still some places which are cut off. In some rural agricultural communities in hilly regions, Heavy rain have destroyed roads, which make it difficult for people to move in and out of the community. This results in difficulty in the transportation of raw materials to processing plants. Some items are highly perishable. So if there is too much delay in the transportation, from farm to factory, the food can become spoiled in the process. To address this problem, more good quality roads need to be built to give greater access in and out of the rural communities. So it is clear that the food processing industry, though providing a number of benefits, do come with their fair share of problems. One of the ways that manufacturers can reduce this problem 
or these problems is by finding suitable locations for their companies. This will not only benefit the company, but also the staff, the consumers, and the economy in general. A number of factors influence the location of food processing industries in the Caribbean. These include availability of raw materials, availability of energy, a reliable transportation system, availability of markets, availability of labor, adequate capital, as well as the role of the government. This map shows the coastal area of Guyana, where sugar factories are located. Notice that the factories are located close to the sugar estates, which supply them with the main source of raw material, which is sugar. So the area in green represents the, the fields or the estates where the sugar cane is grown and the red dots represent the sugar factories. Now, when sugar factories are close to the raw material, it will reduce transportation costs. This is especially important since this raw material is heavy and bulky. Another benefit of the location of the sugar factories in Guyana is the availability of transportation. This includes both road as well as water transportation. Notice on the map that there is a main road running along the coast that helps to link the different areas of sugar production. An important means of transportation is the canal system indicated or shown in the video clip. This canal system is used to transport sugarcane to factories. The rivers running in the area are very important to this canal system. In Jamaica, as well as other Caribbean countries. Flour is used in a number of food items. However, the raw material is obtained from overseas. As such, the most suitable location is a location along the port. This is the case of the Jamaica flour mill, which is shown on the map. Not only is the port important for the supply of raw material, it is also important for the exporting of finished products. Notice in front of the factory is a large sheltered water body 
This is the Kingston Harbor. Not only does the flour mill benefit from a port location, it is also close to a large area of settlement. Settlement provides a source of labor for the industry as well as a source of local market. The area is also fed by a number of main roads, which helps with the transportation of the food items. One of the main factors needed for having a successful manufacturing industry is energy. This is because energy is needed to operate the machinery which is used in the conversion of the raw materials to finished products. While most other Caribbean countries get almost all of their energy supply from abroad, this is not the case for Trinidad and Tobago whose economy is largely based on oil and natural gas. As such, Trinidad and Tobago has the most successful manufacturing sector, including food processing. Two other factors which influence the location of food processing industry in the Caribbean are capital and the role of government. Capital is the money used to start or keep the business going. Many small as well as medium and large food companies obtain their capital from loans provided both from private entities as well as from the government. The government is also instrumental in encouraging foreign investors to invest in the country. Besides helping with capital, the government also provides training so that the food processing industry will have skilled workers. The government also works along with other governments in setting policies to manage the industry, including the creation and implement implementation of food safety standards. Once again, I want to thank you for watching my video and I hope it was of some value to you. Please remember to like, subscribe and share with a friend.